and this we will do so when we are hitting it will kind of be delayed the damage so it's not just come right when the animation start but a later point so when we do the swing the damage will come around about here instead and you can see it's ticking down so we are doing this so later we can add some uh, animations effects to this so it kind of will synchronize better so what we want to achieve is that when we hit the enemy we actually first do the damage when the sword is like hitting the enemy so we have to change a couple of things um, if we go to window and open the animator uh, animation sorry put it here and then we click on the player open the model open the maria you can see that we have a lot of different types of um, animations and they are all read only so what we want to like kind of achieve is that at a certain point like uh, when you hit like this we want we want the damage to come right about, about there instead of coming at the start which is currently does so because it's read only we cannot like we cannot uh, what's called change it so we need to make a copy of the animation and then we attach it so let's go to animations and we have standing let's see uh, great show idle not that one jumping uh, da, 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 da. standing sort combo not that one I can just say I could do like sort there we go so we duplicate this one by Control C, Control D. So now we have two, and one is great short slash, and the other one is Maria Pop. So now we have two. So we go into the animator. We go into the basic attack. We choose new short slash. So it's currently this one with the Maria. So we want to pick. A new one there and when that is picked we can go in here and see now it's not read only and then uh, we want to make a new event add event and we put the event around there and this event we want to happen in a certain um, time so right now when we play it, uh, it will give on us error, like this saying, oh, he has not no animation event yet. So what we need to do is we actually need to move all. There's like two options to this. Either we can move all our um, scripts down to the model, or we can like make a script on the animation to get it. I chose to move it all down there so I would say copy component paste as a new back to player uncheck it copy component back to this paste as new and take this one copy component and paste paste as new and the last one, copy component and paste is new and then we go into the player and we delete these move, move, move and move so right when we started we actually get some errors now um, at least we should, yeah uh, we still have the same error Normally, there could be an error like on the 
player controller where you need to put in the animation again but for some reason it didn't give me the error now we need to go into the animation so click on it and we have all these functions where it is possible to say okay we want to do it when you select the enemy or when you want to do it what we want to do is go into the combat script and make a new void void and call it the uh, enemy hit this and close it down and then we go in this pick this one and say it should have an on enemy hits so now uh, the bug is kind of gone but we still have not made it right so as you can see right now when we hit it comes instantly so what we need to do is going back to the script uh, boom. Have to get used to that edit and then say okay what what will happen when we reached its animation hit well we would do the damage so this will trigger the animation and this will trigger the damage in the animation so we don't have to write like uh, an hit up here like this because this uh, animation trigger and then we go back and then when we attack it's kind of like comes at a later point so this is just like a minor thing we had to fix but we do it so when we are attacking enemies or something that their reaction kind of fits the weapon reaction so instead of the weapon um, kind of just instantly damage is first damage when it's actually hitting 